The lifespan of rats is normally 2 to 2.5 years tops. Yet one particular type of rat, the naked mole rat, happens to live up to 16 times longer. To put that into perspective, if your average human lived to age 80, living 16 times longer than that would mean you've lived until over 1,200 years old. Not only do naked mole rats have this incredible lifespan, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Just a few examples. Naked mole rats don't feel pain when being burnt with acid. Their brains can survive without oxygen for 30 minutes without damage. They are almost immune to chemical poisons, and in their natural habitats, they are immune to cancer. Despite being well-researched, even in the most recent studies, mainstream scientists cannot explain the physiological mechanism behind all of these incredible features. It's time to solve the mystery of the naked mole rat once and for all so we can apply that knowledge to benefit our health. Let's get started. I call this one Longevity Secrets of the Naked Mole Rat. By the way, I first learned about the naked mole rat from Dr. Raymond Pete. And if it weren't for him, I'm not sure if I ever would have discovered the naked mole rat. So I owe him a debt of gratitude. And as well to you if you enjoy this presentation. So let's start with a little bit of an introduction about the naked mole rat. The naked mole rat is a type of rodent found naturally in the hot, arid regions of eastern Africa, which spends its entire existence underground, or subterranean. It seems that every continent has some form of mole rat that lives in a similar way, like the naked mole rat, with the same health characteristics that we're about to go over. It's just that they wouldn't be called the naked mole rat. There's only one original naked mole rat, and that one's from Africa. Anyway, naked mole rats live in colonies with about 75 other rats, but their colonies can be as large as 300 mole rats. Their large protruding teeth are used to dig, and their mouths are sealed just behind their teeth so their mouths don't fill up with soil while they're digging. We've all been there. One interesting thing about the mole rat is they can move backwards as quickly as they can move forwards. As far as food goes, they eat primarily large tubers, that they find underground through their mining operations. And last but not least, their tunnel systems that they dig can stretch from three to five kilometers in cumulative length, which is two to three miles. Now we're gonna go over seven mind-blowing facts about the naked mole rat. Number one, they reproduce from birth to the grave. There is no point in the naked mole rat's life where it reaches like menopause and it, it no longer is fertile. Humans tend to believe that men have the capacity to reproduce their entire lives, but that women can only reproduce until menopause. So the question is, is menopause inevitable? Well, a lot of people think it is, we assume it is, but not the naked mole rat who can reproduce their, their entire lifespans right up until their final moments. I think they reach sexual maturity at about six months. So from six months to the end of their life, sometimes as long as 32 years. If we can figure out what is conferring their lifelong reproduction, perhaps humans can gain the same benefit. Fascinating fact number two, they don't feel pain after being burnt with acid. The naked mole rat is exceptional in its acid insensitivity, wrote E.S. Smith, a scientist, and his colleagues in a 2011 study published in the journal Science. Study, indeed, studies testing pain threshold of naked mole rats found that they registered no pain after being burnt with acid. The theory of the scientist explaining why was a species-specific gene modification that allowed acid sensors to not be activated on, upon contact with acid. So they don't know exactly why, but that's their theory. Number three, naked mole rat brains can survive long periods without oxygen. Mammalian brains typically suffer irreversible damage after brief periods of oxygen deprivation, for example, during a stroke or a heart attack. A 2009 study published in Neuro Report found that, and I quote, brain tissue from naked mole rats rodents that live in a chronically low oxygen environment is remarkably resistant to hypoxia, hypoxia being lack of oxygen. 
Their theory explaining why was that brain tolerance to hypoxia, and I quote, may result from slowed or arrested brain development. I find that explanation funny. Here we are, we have an animal that its brain can outperform that of the scientist, and the scientist theorizes that it's because it has, it's slow to develop mentally. And if anything, you should be bowing down, I think. Number four, naked mole rats are immune to damage from toxins and other stressors. Compared with mice, naked mole rats have a remarkable resistance to many harmful insults, including paraquat, which is a herbicide, high temperature, heavy metals, DNA damaging agents, and harmful, harmful foreign materials. Naked mole rats have the ability to resist damage at the cellular level over the course of their lives. And as researchers in a 2016 study admitted, and I quote, the underlying mechanisms are unclear. Once again, scientists have no idea why this is. They can't explain it and they don't know. Apparently more research is needed. Or is it? Number five, naked mole rats are immune to cancer. Cancer has never been observed in naked mole rats living in their natural habitats underground. Something about their natural environment makes them immune to cancer. Interestingly, in 2006, a report was published claiming that two naked mole rats developed cancer. However, as it turns out, both naked mole rats in this case were born and living in captivity at zoos, which is a much different environment than their subterranean burrows. And number six, naked mole rats live up to 16 times longer than normal rats. So rats typically live only to 2.5 years maximum. And yet the longest lived naked mole rat ever observed was 32 years old. That's a 16 times increase in lifespan. The naked mole rat, therefore, is the longest living rodent known. The exceptional longevity and disease resistance of the naked mole rat have researchers calling it, and I quote, a true supermodel for aging research and resistance to chronic age-associated diseases. Looks like a supermodel too. Number seven, naked mole rats don't age. Yes, you heard right. Unlike all other mammals studied to date, a naked mole rat's risk of death does not go up as it gets older, wrote scientists in a study from January 2018. So as with humans, where as time goes on, we tend to degenerate. That physical degeneration does not occur in naked mole rats. This absence of hazard increase with age, in defiance with Gompert's law, which, by the way, is a mathematical equation that describes aging, uniquely identifies the naked mole rat as a non-aging mammal. After they reached sexual maturity at six months of age, each naked mole rat's daily chance of dying was a little more than one in 10,000. Here's where it gets really crazy. Continuing with that quote, it stayed the same the rest of their lives and even went down a little, reported scientist Buffenstein. This goes against everything we know in terms of mammalian biology, she wrote in her study from 2018. Wow. Wow. So the question is, what is causing these benefits? What are the mechanisms behind these physiological benefits that we see in the naked mole rat? Well, mainstream scientists have a number of theories, many of which we went over. However, ultimately, even in the most recent studies, scientists admit that they haven't figured it out yet. To the mainstream, the longevity secrets of the naked mole rat remain a mystery. Scientists are baffled. Well, guess what? The main reason why this is, why mainstream science doesn't understand the naked mole rat, is that it funds genetic-based research only. And it turns out genetics have virtually nothing to do with the naked mole rat's outstanding health. A friend of mine, a fellow researcher, emailed one of the renowned scientists working with naked mole rats, asking them to study the metabolism of the rats. To which the scientist replied, no way in hell I'm going to check metabolism. I got three grants from the NIH, which is the National Institutes of Health, decoding the naked mole rat genome, so I have no time for this metabolic nonsense. As it turns out, mainstream medicine is not interested in metabolic research because it would lead to cures for diseases. 
by focusing and funding studies solely on genetics, the answers, like the explanations for the outstanding features of the naked mole rat, are never found. But they can't control all research, and some have slipped through the cracks. So we do have the answers. Let's go over those now. The naked mole rat explained. As Dr. Raymond Peet once wrote, they live in burrows that are kept closed. So the percentage of oxygen is lower than in the outside air, and the percentage of carbon dioxide ranges from 0.2% to 5%. Although I've never seen anything that Dr. Raymond Peet said that wasn't backed by evidence, I decided to look up some studies myself to confirm or disprove what he said. And it turns out I found a study from 2005 by Israeli scientists, which investigated the oxygen and carbon dioxide content in burrows of three species of subterranean mole rats. The study found that maximal CO2 levels were 6.1 and minimal oxygen levels were 7.2. So comparing air on Earth at sea level to a mole rat burrow, here's what we have. Air on Earth, 0.04% carbon dioxide, extremely low. Oxygen, 21%. It's actually 20.95%, but we'll round to 21. In a mole rat burrow, the level of carbon dioxide is 153 times greater, as high as 6.1% found in that study. And the amount of oxygen is as low as 7.2%, which is 2.9 times less. So, in the 2016 study that documented cancer in the two naked mole rats living at the zoo in captivity, those rats lived in an environment with 21% atmospheric oxygen compared to their natural 7% oxygen. And CO2, which was 0.04%, very dismal compared to their natural around 6%. This is the primary thing that accounts for all their amazing health characteristics. The effect that living in a mole rat burrow has on the interior of the body and the, the physiology of the mole rats is similar to that of a person or mole rat even living at elevation. So at elevation, the CO2 is the exact same as at uh, sea level, 0.04%. Oxygen is the same, but the difference there is that the oxygen pressure at elevation is reduced. And by the way, if you haven't seen my video on elevation, go watch that. So with reduced oxygen pressure at elevation, the result inside the body is that CO2 is increased and O2 is decreased. Carbon dioxide is elevated and oxygen is reduced and that confers amazing benefits. In a naked mole rat burrow, what we have is elevated CO2 and decreased oxygen and the result of living in a naked mole rat burrow with those atmospheric conditions versus at elevation are the same. Inside the body, that results in increased CO2 or carbon dioxide and reduced oxygen. And it's that condition that confers the reduced cancer at elevation and the no cancer in a naked mole rat burrow and all of its other astonishing benefits. This is the key to understanding the amazing characteristics of the mole rat. But there are more. In fact, at least one more that I know of, and here, here it is now, we'll go over this. Highly saturated tissue phospholipids is what naked mole rats have. Now, before I lose you on that one, we'll go over first some research on longevity, and then I'll explain what that is. A number of studies have already found what the key to maximum longevity is. In a 2004 study, researchers investigated longevity in mammals by looking at the type of fatty acids contained within their cell membranes. And the study found, and I quote, the degree of unsaturation of tissue fatty acids correlates inversely with maximum longevity. Or as Dr. Raymond Peet wrote, animals that naturally have a relatively low level of highly unsaturated fats in their tissues have the greatest longevity. So, what kind of fats are in the tissues of naked mole rats versus mice or regular rats? And in fact, a 2006 study looked at that very thing. Researchers investigated tissue phospholipids in mice compared to naked mole rats. The results are as follows, and I quote, Both species had similar amounts of membrane total unsaturated fatty acids. However, mice had nine times more decosahexaenoic acid, or DHA, also known as the so-called essential fatty acid omega-3. The quote continues, 
because this omega-3 PUFA, which stands is an acronym, P-U-F-A, which stands for polyunsaturated fatty acid, because this omega-3 PUFA is more susceptible to lipid peroxidation, mole rat membranes are substantially more resistant to oxidative stress than are mice membranes. A 2007 study continued along that thread of research, and they wanted to elucidate exactly what percentage of fats in cell membranes were of omega-3 in mice and mole rats. And they found DHA-containing phospholipids, omega-3s, represent 27 to 57 percent of all phospholipids in mice, but in naked mole rats, only 2 to 6 percent. So the cell membranes of naked mole rats contain only 2 to 6 percent omega-3s, and in mice, 27 all the way up to 57 percent. Incredible stuff. I want to finish this with a study that shocked researchers at the College of Staten Island in New York in 2010. Scientists recreated the environmental conditions of a naked mole rat burrow with lower oxygen and increased carbon dioxide in their laboratory and examined its effects on three different parameters of the naked mole rat, including activity levels, memory, and social interaction. Interestingly, the hypothesis of the researchers was that the environment would have a negative impact on the activity, memory, and social interaction. If you're looking at the screen now, you're actually seeing a photo of their setup. They've created a, a mole rat burrow, basically, out of PVC pipe taped together with duct tape and a series of tubes that introduce CO2 and monitor and regulate the air so it mimics the mole rat burrow. And that's figure two, which I'll read to you now. A maze was set up to measure memory. The cage in the back is the colony communal feeding area, and the cage closest in this photo is the community toilet. The carbon dioxide tank maintains hypercapnic, which is excessive carbon dioxide, which we might have to redefine soon, and hypoxic, which is a lack of oxygen, which we also probably have to redefine. Ten readers to track movements were placed around the valves, and the photo was taken by Nicole Bofa. And the results of the study. When the rats were put into an environment of decreased oxygen, or hypoxic and increased carbon dioxide, hypercapnic, dot, 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 they became more social, they had significantly improved memory scores, and their overall movements increased by 76.8%. As you can see this graph on the screen, the blue line is normoxia, so a normal amount of oxygen. That's like your standard atmosphere that you're breathing right now, probably. And the red line is hypercapnic hypoxia. That's, that's with the decreased oxygen and increased CO2. And as you can see, the y-axis is the number of movements in the mole rats, and that just skyrocketed when they took down the oxygen and increased the, the CO2. Incredible. So the conclusion of the study was the following. And I quote, the results did not support the original hypothesis that activity, memory, and social interaction levels would decrease under hypercapnic hypoxia. So thank you for watching this episode. If you enjoy my work and you think I deserve to get paid, there are a number of ways you can do that. You can visit my store. I have red light therapy devices, the handheld device, the body light mini, and the full body light for the ultimate red light therapy experience. I've got three books that I've published, one on red light therapy and two on cancer. I also recommend that you sign up to our mailing list. If you want to see the show notes and to do all the above, I created a special link. Just go to endalldisease.com slash episode eight. That's endalldisease.com slash E-P-I-S-O-D-E and the number eight. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, God bless. And we will see you in the next episode.